In this video, we're going to take a look at the action sheet inside of the Quasar framework. So this allows you to add an action sheet to your Vue.js Quasar apps. And if you haven't done already, install the Quasar CLI by saying npm install Quasar-CLI-G. After that, I've gone ahead and said Quasar init action sheet, and that starts a new project in which you can then run npm install. That will install your dependencies and you'll be in the same position as me. So if we open this up inside of our editor, we have a list of components and I'm going to be simply going to index.view and inside of index.view, I'm going to get rid of everything in this layout view here. Just so we start off with this sort of blank component. And for now, I'm also going to delete everything inside of our script and style block. So we should be left with a simple template and a layout view. I'm going to change the title of this to be action sheet, just so everything looks a little cleaner. Awesome. If we now run our project inside of the browser by saying Quasar dev, this should start a development server. And as we can see, we do have that toolbar and the toolbar title is named action sheet. So all good so far. The next thing to do is, of course, add a button and that button. I'm simply going to give the class of primary with the text of open action sheet. Let's also give this button a click event of open action sheet. And we can go ahead and write that inside of our script block. So to use action sheet, we first have to import it from Quasar. So when we have a reference to that, we can define a new method. And that method is going to be called the open action sheet. And from here, we can say action sheet dot create. So the create method allows us to specify things like a title, particular actions, whether we want to allow the user to dismiss the action sheet and so on. So let's start off with a title, which would be my first action sheet. We'll also have some actions. This is simply an array of actions. So the first action could have a label of share, for example, and an icon of share and a click handler. So that if somebody clicks on this, of simply share. Let's do the same, but now we can do the label should be delete and the icon should be delete. And we can simply log out delete to the console. So, so far, if we click our button, let's have a look by clicking open action sheet. You can see that we get this action sheet at the bottom and we obviously have share and delete because that's what we specified inside of our actions. If we take a look at this as a mobile device and then we click open action sheet once again and then click share, you can see that we get share logged out to the console and delete logged out to the console. We can also change this into gallery mode. So if we say gallery is equal to true inside of our action sheet, we get a sort of different example. This may be good if you have a lot of items or you want to prioritize the icons. Let's take that off for now. And we can also add a dismiss button. So let's add a dismiss. We'll add a label of cancel, an icon of cancel. And we can also add different classes. Let's add the text primary class. And once again, we can add a handler. So we can say console.log cancel. Now, if we go ahead and select open action sheet, you'll see that we have this cancel. If we were to click the cancel, you can see that we do get it logged out to the console. So it's a similar button like the others. And if we do add our gallery back, the cancel doesn't change. So what we have is this cancel at the bottom all the time, but we have the gallery styled icons. When we're on a browser, we can also hit the escape key to close the action sheet. Another thing we can do is instead of using an icon, 
we can actually use an avatar. So we can set an avatar to be, for example, assets.ph.jpg, and I'll remove the icon for now, we'll simply comment it out. And if I click Open Action Sheet, another thing we can do is instead of using an icon, we can also use something called an avatar. So let's add an avatar instead of the icon with a particular URL. So if we then have a look at our action sheet and we select open action sheet, you can see that now we have this avatar instead of the icon. If we remove gallery from being true, and we go back and select our action sheet again, you can see our avatar here in the list. So that about wraps up everything to do with action sheets inside of the Quasar View Framework.